We got a bidet. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to start doing some uh, video game walkthroughs with you uh, of our, some of our favorite Star Wars games. Uh, you got myself, we got Sarah, and from time to time we'll have Axel and probably Chester walking through the shot. Um, it's very casual here but we wanted to enjoy uh, the games with you all. Um, what you'll notice is that I turned the music off for the game so uh, we don't get that copyright. I don't know if it turns the music off during the cutscenes, so we may have to talk over that a little bit more. Um, so yeah, we're going to dive right in. We're playing one of my favorite Star Wars games all time. Uh, you can see that in my top Star Wars video games that i played so far video. Um, it is Star Wars Episode Three: Re Revenge of the Sith. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. I've not played this game before. It's a very interesting game, and I think it's super underrated. All right, so we have music during the uh, gameplay. Um, I can probably mute that for a minute. Um, but so we got the Star Wars Episode Three game here. This was for. Xbox and PS2 for the version that we are playing. The original Xbox? Yes, the okay. original Xbox. Game, uh, GameCube 2 or no? No, no GameCube. Okay. However, there was the Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS, hmm. um, which were, it was, they were very interesting, and I'll tell you why. Um, so they were side scrollers, the uh, Game Boy Advance and DS version. We actually have the Game Boy Advance version. Uh, so we may be covering that on this channel as well. Um, but the interesting thing about it was that... So the Game Boy Advance one, like I said, was the side-scroller just like the Nintendo DS. But the DS had more capabilities than the Game Boy Advance itself. And in the Nintendo DS version, there's actually flying segments that are like 3D flying. Kind of like rogue squadron for example if you know of that star wars game if you don't know star wars games it's kind of like star fox um you know your typical fly around it's not on rails or anything like that um so that was super cool uh we got the first cut scene here i don't know how much can be heard or not we're new to this so we're just kind of going with it um so we're starting here revenge of the sith the opening sequence when both Anakin and Obi-Wan are going towards Grievous's ship trying to save the Chancellor. I mean, did you play the Game Boy version of this before? I have not played the Game Boy version specifically all the way through. I have played the DS version all the way through. So you'll be able to tell us if it's super different or if it's pretty much the same? For... Today. Compared to oh, it's way different. Um, this game is not a side scroller, as you can see. Um, I'm actually going to turn it down a little bit from our end. There, that's better. Um, so as you can see, it's not a side scroller. Um, one of the interesting things about this game in particular. Uh, so, Star Wars Episode 3 came out in 2005, it came out, I believe, in May of 2005, and believe it or not, the video game came out before the movie, a few days, and I still remember um, when it came out, my mom took me to Hollywood Video, uh, which is no longer a store anymore, and it hasn't been for quite some time. Uh, but they had the game there, I was one of those kids that... Um, was fortunate enough to call ahead and my parents were able to take me to go pick it up. Um, Did you purchase or rent it? Rent it. So this was back when you could rent video games? Yep. An actual physical copy of it too. Yeah, physical <laughs> copy of it. Uh, one cool thing about 
Hollywood video in their video games. I didn't really know many others uh, that did this. Was that on the so when you rented the game, they made their own cases, and on the back of the case was all the controls for the game, mm, that'd be nice. and you could see the different listings. Uh, to make some more comparisons of this game, if you've ever played the Lord of the Rings games. Uh, not the first one, not the Fellowship of the Ring, because that was kind of a disaster in my opinion. Um, but the Two Towers and Return of the King, where um, I think Two Towers actually covered the Fellowship of the Ring because the original game had so many issues. Uh, the style of the gameplay is fairly similar to this, especially after you complete missions. Where you get to upgrade your character and whatnot. Did you see that? See what? They spelled R2, A R T O O. Is that how they spell it in like the comics and books? Sometimes. Just depends if they want to abbreviate and whatnot. Or not abbreviate, shorten. Although it's not much being short. I'm just, I'm so used to seeing like R2, D2 instead of having it spelled out like that. It's weird. Trying to remember all these controls. Uh, How did you get the game so that you're able to play today? Uh, so we're playing on Xbox One, and recently Xbox came out with a whole bunch of um, new backwards compatible games, and this was one of them. So there's quite a few Star Wars games that are backwards compar compatible on the Xbox. Here we're in the hangar, like I said, and we're making our way towards saving the Chancellor. Um, some cool things to note about the game, and we will actually see it coming up in the segments ahead, is that um, the game was made before the movie came out, so usually when video games are in the production uh, part of being made. I don't know how to better describe that. They're, Development? Yeah, they're given the basically director's cut of the film. They're given everything so that they can go off of um, what the movie could be. So there's actually stuff in the game that you play that was deleted from the movie. That'd be pretty sweet. I'll point it out when we actually get there. So when you rented the game before the movie came out, did you get a lot of spoilers? Oh, the whole thing. The whole thing. You played the whole thing before you saw the movie? Yep. I think I beat it in like two or three days. It's a pretty short game, in my opinion. Um, especially, you know, when it's summertime. I think it was... I was in middle school. So, it was... Summer had just started from school. So, you know, there's nothing better to do for me. You do get to play as Anakin and Obi-Wan in this game. Uh, later on, once you get further and you unlock stuff, there is a like dual mode where um, you can play as a couple other characters. Can you switch back and forth like right now? Could you be Obi-Wan or are you stuck as Anakin for a while? It's mission specific. Oh, okay. They're behind you, but I think they were in front of you. Yeah, everybody was in front. <laughs> uh oh. What? I didn't, it didn't go up to hit him. Yeah, so once this mission com is completed, um, it'll switch over. Uh, well, potentially. Not always every other, but. Uh, there's quite a few times where you'll be able to uh, switch between Anakin and Obi-Wan. The 
little thing that's kind of around Anakin's face. Um, that meter goes up and down as you um, defeat enemies. The higher it goes, the more experience points you will get for uh, killing enemies. But if you get hit, that meter goes down. Eventually it goes to uh, being full, and when it's full, it activates a short amount of time where all your kills get like super good experience points. So it's kind of like a combo bonus? Yeah, in a way. What are the other bars on the screen? I see three other bars. Uh, the blue is your force, the red is your health, and then the bottom that looks like a bunch of tick marks is how much experience points you've gained in the level. Hmm. So Out like, of the total amount available, or...? No, you, I, I believe you can get more. Um, if you exceed it, you will not get more. Um, these things are secrets. So right now, you can see that my thing is like flashing yellow. That's the that's what I was talking about a second ago as far as what you can get and then you get bonus XP for all your kills. That's called Masterful, as we saw there. There's a little bit of music in these cutscenes too. Um, but while we actually play, the music is turned off. So this is like the mission uh, results page. So it tells you how many enemies you killed in all the different categories. Um, we found all three secrets, so that's pretty nice. Uh, so then you get to go in here and choose where you want to disperse your points. Uh, for myself, I know from the past, um, Force Heal is a big one to do right away. I'll go ahead and put them all towards that. Hmm. Uh, then you can also upgrade your combat stuff. Um, the... I believe it's grapple... No, no, no. It'll be for under force powers. So eventually, as Anakin, uh, one of these, I think it's force stun, turns into uh, force lightning when he turns into the... or turns to the dark side. So I've upgraded Anakin. Would you like to save? Sure, why not? Always a good idea. On the bottom, or as you progress, um, you kind of level up your Jedi ranking as well. So like Padawan, Knight, and Master. Um, that's what was on the screen a second ago. Uh, this next mission, I believe, will be Obi-Wan because he's right there in the synopsis. So we got another little cutscene here. What's interesting about this cutscene is that it was altered for the video game to fit what they were doing. Um, was that kind of confusing when you went to see the movie then and it was different? Not as much because I wasn't, I hadn't heard it enough mm. to quite make it. Um, this was a deleted scene from the movie or whether it's surrounded in a do what's about to happen next. I don't want to give away spoilers. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So now they're in like the fuel area of the ship. This was a deleted scene. So yeah, we get to be Kenobi this time. As you can see, he has a XP bar down below that's much bigger. Um, one thing that I learned playing this game is that kind of tells you how long the level is. So if it's starting to fill up quite a bit, you're probably near the end of the level. Hmm. Oh, I was wondering how you're going to get past those... Uh rogue lightning bolts, however you want to call them, but I guess we'll just cut scene past it. <laughs> I think they're going the other way, like uh, going, coming towards us, so to speak. Could be. There's 
a whole bunch of cool stuff that'll be discussed during these playthroughs. Because um, this game has a lot to offer to the movie. The gameplay is a lot of fun. Um, that's Force Heal, so if you click down on both of the sticks, then you can heal yourself. Obviously, the more you have upgraded, the uh, the faster it heals you. There's the cat. Hi, Chester. <laughs> He'd like to say hi to everybody, so here he is. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I was about to say, I think Anakin just got killed. <laughs> oh, no! Because he uh, didn't get off the platform, and the platform was destroyed. <laughs> Oops. There goes the Skywalker saga. What also is kind of a bummer is, that, as you just saw, Anakin killed that guy, which means I'm not going to get experience points for that kill. Um, so I always hated that. I don't like losing the experience points. As you may have noticed, both Axel and Chester get very jealous of each other. <laughs> if you haven't seen it already, we did do a separate uh, podcast on what our favorite Star Wars movies are. That was pretty cool to do. Um, and I believe we did that with our friend Tony, right? Mm, I think so. Um, what other podcasts have we done on the channel? Uh, we've done... Specifically to Star Wars, I should say. We've done a whole lot with the different TV shows, so Mando, um, Bad Batch, and now Boba Fett. Um, we did one on the Lego Star Wars Holiday Special, and we did one on the original Holiday Special. Um, you can check that out. It's kind of a cringy movie, but we love it. It's our yearly tradition to watch that. Did we do any others specifically to not just our favorite movie, but like general overview of the different movies? I feel like at one point you guys did some discussions on some of the other TV shows like Clone Wars and stuff like that, but... Mm, I don't think so. Maybe it was just side discussions, I don't know. Because <laughs> I haven't seen... Um, I haven't seen the Clone Wars or what's the other TV show that's like that? Uh, Rebels. Yeah, Rebels. I haven't seen Rebels either. One moment. So we're making our way through these fuel cell areas. I'm totally down for more podcast stuff. I think that's something that we could definitely do more of on the channel. Man, I'm getting my butt handed to me. Here we go. Time to bring out the big guns. <laughs> eh. Anakin's over here complaining that I need to go somewhere and he isn't doing anything to help. Nope. Tip. interesting to see back to tanks in here because that's something that I actually learned about for the first time in um, the book of Boba Fett. Obviously you've seen Luke Skywalker in that in a back to tank before um, from the original movies is when he was in it, right? Mm -hmm. But I didn't know what it was called or I knew it was like a healing tank but um, I hadn't heard that term before and now all of a sudden I'm seeing it everywhere. Look at them help like good old buddies. Oh, 
was that? Did you just stick your lightsaber in there and just hold it? Mm-hmm. Just like Qui-Gon did in uh, The Phantom Menace. I do not recall this. So what, um, which of the movies did you say this is off of? The third one. Third one, okay. So you, you may be wondering why is Sarah asking a lot of these questions about the, the movie. Um, it's probably a little bit harder for her to remember because before I met her, she absolutely refused to watch prequels. Yep. Um, so she hadn't seen the movies before she met me. So it's a little bit harder for her to remember. And I'm also assuming... Not everyone in our audience knows every single thing about Star Wars either. <laughs> I'm like you. So maybe they would uh, appreciate some of that background knowledge also. It's only in the title, everybody. Only in the title. <laughs> well, I can't see the title right here. Whoa. You find a way to jump from here. Whenever we play Star Wars trivia games, and we've tried a handful of times, it's usually Jeremy against everybody else. Usually it's supposed to be teams of, like, you know, three people on each side. No, nope, it's Jeremy against everybody else. And usually he wins anyway. <laughs> I don't know if there's a usually. I don't think I've been beaten yet. He always wins on you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've tried teaming up with your sister and going against you. I've tried teaming up with some of our other friends and going against you. And uh, it doesn't matter who I'm with, we always end up losing to Jeremy. <laughs> what can I say? It is fun, though, on some of the like Trivial Pursuit cards and stuff. Every once in a while, there'll be a question that stumps him. It's fun to find those. Because mm. it's so rare. <laughs> So we got some buzz droids here. I was just gonna ask what those were. I think they were skipped in the cutscene. Uh, because the cutscene in the beginning basically just showed them go to the ship. Um, which, we, you were asking me if I was like had the movie spoiled for me and everything from the game. It was cool to see different sections where there was added pieces that I didn't recognize, and that was one of them. Uh. definitely remember that later on, uh, probably in a follow-up video, um, there were some definitely frustrating um, levels in this game. Yes, sir. I will say there's one thing that I also noticed about this game is I felt that Anakin had more levels, but they were shorter, and then Obi-Wan had fewer, but they were a lot longer. Because it always seemed that whenever I was playing as Obi-Wan, I always had the very long bars on the bottom of the screen. You got your uh, experience combo meter, or whatever you want to call it, up to full right now, don't you? Yep. Nice. 
I could be wrong if I, I don't remember, but I kind of noticed it when I was playing a second ago. I think when you have it at Masterful, the enemies can't block your attack. Um, so that's why I was just kind of ripping right through that droid. I did not notice, but I'll have to pay attention next time. Yeah, me too. Oh, there's a secret. Usually when they say the force is strong here, that means that there's a secret nearby. Unfortunately, there's a good handful of that I probably never found in my lifetime. So with this being a um, retro remastered game, are there trophies for this game? Nope. At least not yet. Um, is that pretty typical for remastered games? Well, this one isn't technically remastered. Um, like, it's kind of hard to say because uh, recently Republic Commando and whatnot came out for PlayStation. And for the PlayStation, there's trophies. However, Republic Commando on the Xbox didn't have anything. At least, not that I saw. Because I had Republic Commando, I think, on the Xbox. I don't remember exactly. But I think it takes, like, a different disc to, like, trigger. I'm not a master at that. If you know more than I do, put it in the comments. Alright, so we made it to the end of the area, I believe, so they can get out of the fuel zones. Nice. Uh, I'm going to let the dog outside while you go through this next cutscene. So now we get to disperse our experience points from Obi-Wan. Looks like we got all the secrets in that level, so that was pretty cool. Uh, the thing I was referring to earlier that was like the three stages, this Jedi, Jedi Knight, and Master is in the upper right hand corner currently. Uh, as you build more experience points, um, it does level up a little bit. In my experience, I don't think I really noticed any difference from when it leveled up. Um, there's some unlockables that we got, uh, concept art, and unlock challenge mission. So that goes along with when I was talking about that there's duels later on as well. Um, we get to play as different characters. So my rule of thumb, force heal gets utmost priority. So we're able to take care of all of that with Kenobi. And I think I'm more of an area attack type person. So yep, finish with the upgrade. So you're good. So our next Level Peril in the Elevators. So now we'll be doing the famous elevator scene. It's a pretty fun level. This one's an altered scene. Because they make him laugh when he's supposed to say activate ray shields. And clearly that didn't happen. Oh, I forgot about that button. Okay. Forgot about force stun. You can also pick them up. Alright, I'm back. So we're back to Anakin, huh? You. This level bar is pretty long. I feel like it's almost as long as Obi Wan's last level. Definitely longer than it was the first level you played as him. 
Yeah, this one's a decently big level. I like how you told Obi-Wan you needed help and he just stood there. Like, nah, you got it. Once again, typical. things coming from? Underneath. Like inside the elevator? No, on the other. Like on the outside of it. Because the hole is inside. Or they have back and forth. They captured what they did in the movie and the game as well. They do have some pretty good banter back and forth. Impressive. Most impressive. Nice little Anakin Darth Vader plug-in. Uh, the secret found saber crystal is an automatic masterful, by the way, as you saw that on there. Where it fills up the bar. That's pretty cool. So you can get secrets that fill up your health, fill up your force, or give you master food. have all the fun. No way. He's trying to hog all the experience points. How else are you supposed to level up your character? She doesn't want me to be a master. He's holding me back. Let's head back. 
That didn't look good. No, it did not. Oh dear lord. That was in the room. I thought it was outside the room. Self-healing. My <laughs> mental health. Oh no! We're going the wrong way. I'm waiting for R2 to hit the brakes and you guys to go flying because you're just going so fast. Is that how physics works? Mm hmm. Alright, he hit the brakes a little slower than I thought he would. I was expecting him to slam on the brakes. Better at braking than you? I am excellent at braking. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Just like Obi-Wan and Annie can have banter back and forth. Oh, just wait for us. <laughs> attack those guys when they're flying in because if they land then they're more likely to put their shield up like this guy. Yeah, it's like a one hit kill versus like a ten hit kill. interesting it's like obi-wan do you really think if you don't go in first he won't go in like clearly they can both see the thing coming all right looks like we missed out on a couple of secrets that time but that's all right all right let's get that force heal all the way up nice uh i believe we're gonna go with this one None to your combat skills? Eh, not yet. I'm a very all or nothing when it comes to upgrading in this game. <laughs> no kidding. Way to not spread the love. Nah. Alright, so what we've been waiting for. Uh, this is the battle with Count Dooku. Dun, dun, dun. Ready to take him out? I hope so. One hit kill, right? I don't know about that. Do you know which one you get to play as? Do you remember? Anakin. You get to play as Anakin. Very nice. 
since Obi-Wan gets kicked around like a rag doll. <laughs> Chancellor's my friend, not yours. That's another thing that was cut from the film was what Dooku said there at the end in that cut scene. He won't for the rest of the game. <laughs> for the rest of the game? Oh, no, was, I meant a duel. So I know you said he had a few levels, but I thought he had more than one. Yeah. Now he's down for the count. It's all on me. This is where that healing was important. <laughs> was this hide and seek? How did he not just come up to you? Apparently. So we were talking the other day about whether or not you get the term, uh, or the title Lord and the rule of two and all that. So I was thinking just with seeing this, you know, we've got Palpatine, we've got Count Dooku, we've got General Grievous, they're all um, on the dark side, right? But none of them are lords. Dooku's a lord. He is? Mm -hmm. But I never hear him be called that. It's always Count Dooku, not Lord Dooku. Are you sure he was called... Lord Tyrannus. His, ah, okay. his Darth name is Tyrannus. I gotcha. So is he the apprentice then? Because Palpatine's the master? Yep. Until Anakin becomes the apprentice. Right. It's really interesting. If you read the book of episode three, um, it really dives into Dooku's thoughts on the whole plan. Um, you know, for the takeover of everything. And it talks about how he would have thought that things would have went down. Because um, obviously he gets uh, an early exit, so to speak. He also gets a really late introduction if you think about it. Think of the age gap between Dooku, who's apparently an apprentice, and Anakin, who becomes an apprentice. Anakin becomes an apprentice at such a young age in comparison. Yeah, that's why they said that they're getting somebody far younger and more powerful. It was an, a necessary loss. Are these things Palpatine said? Yep. Oh, okay. Or something else. I'm getting quite the beating. Well, it doesn't help that he keeps calling in reinforcements. Like, oh no, I can't take you out by myself. Let me bring in some droids to help me. I don't know if you just saw, but Dooku has healing too. He did the little force hug me thing. <laughs> it's 
it's about to go down. Weird thing for Palpatine to say. It sounds like something your grandma would say. Like, not your grandma, but like a grandma would say. Man, he's lucky he dodged that one. <laughs> he is close. His health is blinking. Don't let him hug himself. Blocking the force and lightning um, takes away your force. But it also took away some of his force because now his health is still blinking but it's way lower. You almost can't even see it anymore. In fact, I can't see his health anymore. That's because he's dead. This must be why. And he doesn't die the way he did in the movie, which is interesting. That sounds like a good spot to leave it off there. Um, this is our first one, so there's many more to come covering this game. I think that was the first four levels. I think there's like 15 or 16. Um, so look forward to more gameplay videos here with us. Can you show us your character upgrade before we go? Uh, I'm going to put it towards stun. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure that one turns into um, force lightning. Mm, okay. Um, but yeah, so turn on your notifications, that way you are notified when more of these gameplay videos drop. Uh, we are looking forward to doing many more of these. This is the first of uh, hopefully many more to come. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, drop us a like if you like this video, and drop us a comment letting us know if you've played this game before, uh, and what you look forward to seeing in the future. And as always everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.